Hello aspiring artists, and welcome back to Acrylic Arts Academy. We're thrilled to have you join us on another artistic adventure. We've been exploring a myriad of techniques and styles, and today we're going to dive into a particular genre that has captivated artists and audiences alike for centuries, landscape painting. As we journey through this exciting terrain, we'll be sharing 10 essential tips to help you perfect your landscape painting skills and create your own masterpieces. These tips are not just theoretical, they are practical, actionable, and backed by examples from some of the most renowned artists in history. So grab your paintbrushes, your palette, and most importantly, your passion for art. Let's dive into the world of landscape painting. Ever wondered how to create a stunning landscape painting with acrylics? Well, today we're embarking on a journey into the world of art, where we'll be exploring the captivating beauty of landscape painting. Landscape painting is a cherished tradition, beautifully capturing the essence of our natural world. It's a genre that has been explored and perfected by countless artists throughout history, from the stunning vistas of J.M.W. Turner to the atmospheric impressions of Claude Monet. In our adventure today, we'll be uncovering 10 essential tips to help you create your own breathtaking landscape paintings with acrylics. We'll delve into the importance of understanding your medium, the power of sketching, the art of brushwork, and much more. Each tip will be illuminated with examples from art history and famous painters to inspire and guide you. Ready to dive into the world of landscape painting? Here we go. Our first tip is to understand your medium. Acrylic paints are a versatile and forgiving medium, making them perfect for those just dipping their brushes into the world of landscape painting. They dry quickly, allowing you to layer and blend colors with ease, and they're water-soluble, meaning you can adjust their consistency to suit your desired effect. Let's take a leaf from the book of the legendary artist Andy Warhol, known for his extensive use of acrylics. Warhol harnessed the versatility of acrylics to create vibrant, enduring artworks, demonstrating that with this medium, the only limit is your imagination. Remember, your paints are more than just tools, they're your partners on this creative journey. The more you understand their characteristics and potential, the more you can push the boundaries of your artistry. Remember, the key to mastering any form of art starts with understanding your tools. So, get to know your acrylics, experiment with them and watch your landscape paintings come to life. Moving on to tip 2. Always start with a sketch. Sketching is an essential first step in landscape painting, acting as the skeleton on which the body of your artwork will be built. Think of the masters like Leonardo da Vinci, who filled his notebooks with countless sketches, studying the world around him in intricate detail. These sketches not only served as practice, but also as essential planning tools for his larger works. When you sketch first, you're not just blindly diving into the canvas. You're taking the time to understand the landscape, to break it down into its basic shapes and structures. This helps to establish the composition of your painting, the placement of elements, and overall balance. It's like having a roadmap to guide you through the painting process. You know where you're starting, the route you're taking, and your final destination. This makes the actual painting part less daunting and more enjoyable. A good sketch is your roadmap to a successful painting. Tip 3 is all about the brushwork. The way you wield your brush is like the way a maestro conducts an orchestra, each stroke creating a harmony of color and texture on your canvas. In landscape painting, your brushwork can bring a scene to life adding depth, movement and emotion. Consider Vincent van Gogh, an artist renowned for his unique brushwork. His swirling, almost turbulent strokes imbued his landscapes with a sense of energy and dynamism. But different scenes call for different techniques. A tranquil lake might benefit from long, sweeping strokes, while a field of grass may require short, rapid flicks of the brush. Experiment with different brushes, from wide flats for broad strokes to fine rounds for intricate detail. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach. Your brushwork is an extension of your unique artistic voice. So, explore, experiment and embrace the endless possibilities that lie at the end of your brush. Master your brushwork and you'll master your painting. Perspective is our fourth tip. As a painter, your canvas is a window to another world, and perspective is the key to unlock this world's depth and dimension. Picture the landscape as a series of layers, each one receding into the distance. This is the essence of perspective, the art of representing three-dimensional objects on a two-dimensional surface. Imagine the work of the great artist Raphael. His mastery of perspective brought depth and life to his landscapes, 
he understood that as objects move further away, they appear smaller and less detailed. He also knew that parallel lines seem to converge at a vanishing point on the horizon. So when you paint your next landscape, remember these basic rules. Let your trees dwindle in the distance. Let your roads narrow to a point on the horizon. Create depth by playing with scale and detail. It's all about making your viewer believe they could step right into your painting. Remember, a correct perspective is what brings depth to your painting. Our fifth tip revolves around the use of color. Color is the soul of your landscape, the heart that pumps vibrancy into every corner of your canvas. It's the silent storyteller, whispering tales of sunsets and spring meadows, of autumn leaves and winter snow. Consider Claude Monet, a master of color. His landscapes are symphonies of hues, each note carefully chosen to evoke emotion. His haystacks aren't just yellow, they're a melody of golds, ambers and ochres playing together to create depth and texture. His water lilies aren't simply green, they're a harmony of emeralds, olives and mints, dancing together to suggest movement and life. So when you're choosing your palette, think like Monet. Consider the mood you want to convey, the story you want to tell. Don't just see a tree as green, see the kaleidoscope of colors within it. See the world as Monet did, in all its vibrant, colorful glory. Color breathes life into your painting, choose wisely. Tip 6. The play of light and shadow. In the world of landscape painting, light and shadow hold the reins of drama and depth. They are like the music in a ballet, guiding the dance of your brush strokes. Think of the Baroque painter Caravaggio, renowned for his dramatic use of chiaroscuro, the contrast between light and dark. His landscapes came alive with intense light and profound shadow, creating a remarkable three-dimensional effect. That's the power of understanding light and shadow. When painting a landscape, observe how light falls on different elements. Does it cast long shadows from the trees? Does it reflect off the water, creating shimmering highlights? And remember, shadows are not just gray. They carry the color of the objects they fall on. So experiment with different degrees of light and shadow in your work. Use them to highlight your focal points, to set the mood, and to bring depth to your landscapes. Light and shadow are the soul of your painting. Tip 7. The beauty of texture. In the realm of landscape painting, texture is a game changer. Just as the world around us is filled with diverse textures, so should be your canvas. It's about creating a tactile feel on a two-dimensional surface. It's about bringing your landscapes to life. Take a leaf out of the book of the legendary Rembrandt. He was known for his masterful use of texture. His landscapes weren't just visually captivating, they were a treat to the touch. His works were a symphony of brushstrokes, each contributing to the overall texture of the painting. Texture can be incorporated in countless ways. It could be the rough bark of a tree, the smooth surface of a lake, or the delicate petals of a flower. It's all about the subtle details that make your painting stand out. Remember, texture isn't just about what the eyes see, it's about what the fingers would feel if they could touch the scene. Texture adds a touch of realism to your painting. Tip 8. Paint from life. There's a certain magic that comes from painting directly from nature, from capturing the world as it unfolds before your eyes. When you paint from life, you're not just recording an image, but an experience, a moment in time. This technique, known as en plein air, was famously adopted by artists like Renoir. They believed that painting outside amidst the elements allowed them to truly capture the essence of a scene, the shifting light, the changing colors, the subtle nuances that a photograph might miss, all come alive when you paint from life. Your painting becomes more than just a representation, it becomes a narrative. It tells a story of a particular moment, a particular place. And this authenticity, this truthfulness to the world around you, shines through in your work. It captivates the viewer, draws them in, makes them feel a part of the scene. Painting from life brings authenticity to your work. Patience is our ninth tip. It's not just a virtue, it's an essential part of the painting process. Picture this. You're in the middle of your masterpiece and everything is going swimmingly, but then you rush that final layer and suddenly your perfect piece is a muddled mess. It's heartbreaking, isn't it? This is why patience in painting is so crucial. You must allow each layer to dry fully before moving on to the next. It's a process that can't be hurried. It's a dance with time a kind of slow magic. The great Dutch artist, Johannes Vermeer, was known for his meticulous methods. His masterpieces weren't created in a day. 
They were the result of patience, of waiting for the perfect moment, for the right light, for the paint to dry. So when you're holding that brush, remember to breathe. Take your time. Every stroke counts. Every moment matters. Patience, young artist, is the key to a masterpiece. Our final tip, keep practicing. Imagine artists like Picasso, Van Gogh, or Monet. Their masterpieces didn't just appear overnight. They were the result of countless hours, days, and years of practice and exploration. Each brush stroke, each color choice, each composition was a step in their journey, a testament to their continuous learning and growth. Every artist, regardless of their fame or skill level, was once a beginner. Every artist has faced a blank canvas, a daunting landscape, a challenging perspective. But what sets a great artist apart is the courage to keep going, to keep experimenting, to keep improving. Don't be discouraged if your first, second or even hundredth painting doesn't turn out as you expected. Embrace the process, the journey of discovery, the joy of creation. Picasso himself was known for his constant evolution, for his willingness to learn and experiment. So be patient with yourself and remember that every painting is a step forward. Remember, practice makes perfect. Let's recap our journey into the world of landscape painting. We've unearthed 10 golden nuggets of wisdom to help you on your artistic voyage. First, understand your medium, acrylics, and how they behave. Follow up with a basic sketch to guide your work. Master your brushwork, for it's your magic wand in this realm. Don't forget perspective. It breathes life into your landscapes. Color, our next tip, sets the mood and tone of your work. Light and shadow, they are the yin and yang of your painting, bringing depth and dimension. Texture, often overlooked, adds realism and intrigue to your piece. Painting from life, it's your best teacher. Practice patience because Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a masterpiece. And lastly, keep practicing. Every stroke you make brings you closer to your masterpiece. So, are you ready to create your next masterpiece? Remember these tips and happy painting! In case you've enjoyed this journey with us at Acrylic Arts Academy and found our tips helpful in your voyage into the world of landscape painting, we'd love to hear from you. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. We're here to guide you every step of the way in your artistic journey. With us, you're never alone in your quest to create your next masterpiece. So what are you waiting for? Get those brushes wet, let your colors flow, and most importantly, enjoy the process. Remember, every artist was once an amateur. Keep practicing, keep learning, and most importantly, keep painting. Until next time, happy painting!